The concept of drones may well date back to 1849 when Austria's military was using unmanned balloons stuffed with explosives during battles, but things have changed. That being said, it's fascinating to see the basic concept of drones was being considered more than 170 years ago. Today, drones have found a wide range of applications for civilian use, as you're about to see, especially the ones with cameras, and they're capturing the most astounding things. The footage can be strange, to say the least. 15 weird things caught on camera by drone. Shade balls. Ever heard of them? Released in large numbers, these miracle spheres float on top of water reservoirs, which then help slow evaporation and prevents sunlight from reacting with chemicals in treated water. So this epic ball release, 96 million to be exact, had a major positive impact on improving water quality in California. Shade balls actually save the water supply, which as you know it, is a big deal around the globe. Reducing the evaporation in Los Angeles led to an estimated savings of about 290 million gallons of H2O in one year, enough to supply drinking water to 8,100 people, not to mention the benefits of cleaner water. And the city has been using the clever solution for over a decade, picking shade balls over more expensive covers for the city's biggest reservoir. As you can see in this footage, shade balls are made of plastic, a high-density polyethylene, and carbon black to protect the plastic from the sun. The carbon black also prevents bromate from forming, which is a known carcinogen to humans. And on occasion, Californians face drought, and this is the best way to resolve it. Although it looks a little weird on a large scale, its impact is even more significant for the environment. Save the planet, throw some shade. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. When a drone captures what no one was supposed to see, we pay attention. Now imagine flying your own unmanned aerial vehicle and capturing this. If this place actually exists on Earth, why is it such a secret? You think futuristic structures like this, perched on giant rock faces surrounded by lush greenery, would be a hotspot for tourists? Who wouldn't want to spend some quality time in such a beautiful location? But then again, this mysterious place with its picturesque pavilions could be the remote retreat for someone very rich who wants to live the good life very much alone. And they've built themselves the ultimate complex for their friends and family to hide away in style. It's quite surreal at the same time. It does have a very movie set-like quality in that we could easily picture some superhero origin story or a villain's lair being located in a place just like this. How about you? What are you getting from this drone capture? Share your thoughts in the comments using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Turkey Sinkhole Sinkholes are a global geological phenomenon with many causes, but the recent uptick in Turkey's central Kanya region is largely attributed to rapid groundwater loss as farmers tap deep underground wells to irrigate fields amid a nearly three-long-year drought. Although sinkholes have randomly appeared in central Turkey's agrarian breadbasket in the past, they've started to show up with alarming frequency. Researchers have cataloged more than 2,200 sinkholes in the area, more than 700 of which are deeper than three feet. The largest are hundreds of feet deep, and sinkholes far from residential areas or fields often go unnoticed if they're not big enough in depth and size. Along with sinkholes, huge cracks reaching up to five feet deep but stemming from the same factor creating sinkholes have emerged in the region. The area historically grows much of Turkey's wheat, but farmers later shifted to more water-intensive crops like sugar beets and corn. Every year, particularly in times of drought, they find themselves drilling further to reach the water. In doing so, they prime the ground above for a looming collapse. Sheep herders now must keep a mental map of each sinkhole, so their animals don't fall in line while they're grazing in open fields. World's Largest Cemetery The Wadi al-Salam Cemetery, Arabic for Peace Valley, has a special place in the hearts of the people here as it surrounds the mausoleum of a cousin and son-in-law of Prophet Muhammad. It's been in continuous use since the 7th century. And the world's largest cemetery in Iraq's Shia holy city of Najaf is rapidly expanding. Burial here usually means being entered in one of the tens of thousand crypts, 
mausoleums or catacombs, some of which can hold as many as 50 sets of remains. Although its name translates as the Valley of Peace, the cemetery's recent history has been far from peaceful. It's a dense and bewildering landscape of closely packed tombstones and mausoleums, with a vast network of catacombs and vaults that lie beneath. At the height of the Iraq War, it was reported that as many as 250 bodies were entered at the cemetery every day. As land became scarce, the cost of a standard family burial lot has risen to about 5 million Iraqi dinars. That's about 5 grand in US dollars. This is almost double the amount paid for the same lots before violence escalated in this region. This vast graveyard covers an area of 3.54 square miles and is thought to contain millions of sets of human remains. <laughs> the Glory Hole The massive Morning Glory Spillway in the Lake Berryessa Reservoir in Northern California was originally designed to funnel away water after unusually big storms and was only expected to flow a couple of times per century when heavy rains filled the lake to capacity. It's draining water for the second time in two years after weeks of rain in Northern California. The compelling sight of the 72 feet wide, 246 foot long drain and full flow after record recent rains in the area is also reportedly inspired locals to wax lyrical about what it reminds them of when the water's really pouring through it. Some said water coursing through the spillway's bell mouth looked like a toilet being flushed. More generous descriptions were that it resembled a giant whirlpool or a beautiful inverted fountain in the lake, which is a popular haunt for boaters and swimmers. Whatever it's called, the Morning Glory Spillway is one of the largest drains of this kind in the world and is an impressive sight when the water is high. The recent dramatic video and photographs show the circular spillway, known by locals more colorfully as the Glory Hole, flowing for the second time in years after the brimming lake became too big for its banks. Mind-Controlled Drone Various tech companies and researchers have developed prototype systems for piloting drones with the human brain. They have been working on the brain piloting drone interface for several years now, and as you can see, they've brought the concept to the prototype stage. What that usually involves is a sensor-equipped pilot looking at a computer screen with several shapes on it. Embedded into those are simulators that provoke a reaction in the eye. Rather than the PC's camera registering those ocular responses, they are picked up by the sensor strapped to the user's head, which is then transmitted as a command to the drone. It's literally reading your mind. So the sensor is looking for the signals we create that come through the eyeball, through the brain, and then onto the visual cortex, which is pretty amazing in the entire using tech to transmit human thought into action way, but isn't quite the kind of automatic look-no-hands wizardry a lot of people imagine when they hear the expression mind control. Instead, the pilot basically glowers at an icon corresponding to the desired command, and once that shape realizes it's been eyeballed, shoots the sought order through the brain, and the drone follows suit. Welcome to the future. <laughs> Florida Goblet Up until a few years ago, few people even knew that the Florida Goblet existed. It wasn't until Google Earth became a thing that people discovered its unusual shape, the plantation measures about 1,600 feet long by 770 feet wide, and the lines that make up the top and bottom of the design are around 42 feet wide. It's so large that from the ground, you could never tell it has this peculiar shape. To some, it looks like a goblet with a crown on top of it, while others see a chandelier, but the thing that everyone can agree on is its massive size. The Florida Goblet, or El Candelabra, as some of the locals know it, is located in a rural area about seven miles from the city of Florida. One of the best ways to inspect this unusual landmark is via Google Earth, the same online tool that made it famous on the internet. You can also see it from a plane or by using a drone, although you'd have to fly it pretty high to capture it in all its glory. So, why is this Uruguayan eucalyptus plantation shaped the way that it is? It's actually the cattle brand of the rancher that owns the land that trees are planted on. It's estimated that the eucalyptus plantation was planted over 50 years ago, but its shape remained a mystery to the world until the 2000s. It consists of just under 24,000 trees. Sasquatch shakes tree. Check out what this drone captured, something powerful trying to tear down a massive tree. By far the most common evidence presented for this existence of the iconic Sasquatch in eyewitness reports. 
There have been more than 10,000 eyewitness accounts of this creature in the continental US in the last 50 years, yet the so-called missing link has managed to stay missing for over a century, evading cryptozoologists and amateur photographers, even into the age of smartphones. But in this drone footage, it's pretty convincing that something big is shaking this tree. In most accounts, Sasquatch is usually described as being about 8 to 10 feet tall and covered in hair. Folklorists trace the phenomenon to a combination of factors and sources, the cultures of indigenous people, the reclusive wild man, and folk beliefs among remote communities. However, the majority of mainstream scientists have historically discounted the existence of Sasquatch, considering it to be the result of a combination of folklore and hoax. But some researchers believe it's closely related to humans, while others think it originated from an extinct giant ape. And it seems really mad at this tree. Starbucks order In late July 2021, a TikTok user posted a video that created a lot of buzz. She posted a point of view video of a drone delivering her Starbucks order, and the video has been seen millions of times. Another YouTuber doesn't leave his bed and sends a drone to Starbucks to retrieve an order. It's come to this to get a caffeine fix. If you look closely at the end of the TikTok video, you'll see that the bag that the coffee was delivered in says Flytrex on it, the name of the company that runs drone delivery in North Carolina. It's true that Tel Aviv-based Flytrex is delivering goods from various locations to customers in North Carolina focusing on food delivery. And recently, the company announced it received FAA clearance to expand its drone deliveries to thousands more homes. To place an order via drone, a customer can download the app, browse through restaurants, and select their meal. The customer can then pay for their order via a credit or debit card on the app and select a preferred drop-off point to pick up their order. The program works by delivering food orders to random pickup points that are communicated to customers over text. While robot delivery services have become more popular in major cities, drone delivery is still a relatively new practice. <laughs> drone in space NASA often releases some pretty amazing photographs of Earth, but it pays millions of dollars for each of them. Now one home hobbyist has come up with something almost as good, for about a thousand times less money, and recently released footage of his remote-controlled glider reaching the edge of space. It was 100,000 feet above Earth and then slowly descending back down. David Windestaw managed to send a glider to 100,000 feet attached to a balloon and then flew it back to Earth, an army surplus weather balloon filled with hydrogen, which Windestaw said was cheaper than helium, took the craft to 100,000 feet after launching from Sweden. And by attaching an extreme sports camera to the plane, he ended up with some truly amazing HD footage of the entire trip. There were a lot of things to take into consideration when building the space glider. For instance, during the ascent, the temperature can drop to below freezing, so we had to make sure that the electronics, batteries, and servers all could survive and operate in such a harsh environment. The footage from an onboard camera has become an internet hit even though the mission was deemed a failure as Windestall was unable to land the plane at his feet as he had hoped. <laughs> Giant Graffiti Guillaume Le Gros is known under the pseudonym Sape, which is formed from the contraption of Say and Peace, two words he used in graffiti from an early age. Born in Belfort, France, he is now a famous fresco painter specializing in urban art and land art using biodegradable paint. Where land art was traditionally about building epic works from rocks and natural materials on the ground or mowing and carving shapes into the landscape, Sait instead spray paints ultra-realist street art images of local people onto the grass itself. His scale is gigantic, covering huge swaths of fields and mountains using his own recipe of homemade biodegradable paint. As an artist, he self-taught. He began painting graffiti in the street at the age of 14. His first works, made in his studio, were exhibited at the age of 16. And now he specializes in grass painting and ephemeral land art. The artwork disappears after a few months or so due to regrowth of the grass, the weather, and the passage of visitors. His vast new project will see him spray paint a series of interlocked hands across the lawns here this month, stretching over hundreds of square feet. He'll paint similar images of hands and arms clinging to each other in cities across the world over the next three years. Flying Baseball Coach This Japanese baseball manager is a popular figure in his country for his antics on and off the field. 
and recently the coach left the crowd at the Sapporo Dome stunned as he made a grand entry at the stadium. It was the first home game of the season for his team and he entered the arena flying on a hoverbike. The coach was dressed in a red jacket and properly geared as he was seen taking off on a futuristic black vehicle at the stadium. The hovercraft took off and flew around the stadium for a minute before he landed on the ground and took off his helmet in style. He then dropped off his jacket and walked toward his team as fans watched in awe. The former baseball star, who also enjoyed a stint in Major League Baseball, has been appointed as the head coach of the Ham Fighters team in Japan's professional baseball league. Despite having no prior experience as a coach, he was handed over the huge role ahead of the ongoing season. While his team has failed to get off to a great start having lost their first five games of the season, Shinjo has been a hit among the fans thanks to his off-field antics. The larger-than-life baseball coach is famously known as the big boss among the fans for his theatrical style. <laughs> Worst traffic jam ever A drone video captured gridlock on a 50-lane highway in China recently. The traffic jam happened on the Beijing-Hong Kong-Macau Expressway while people were on their way back to Beijing after the holiday. According to local media, it took up to three hours for some to pass the toll stations. An astonishing 750 million people, half of China's total population, went on holiday. This route serves as the main route for cross-country travelers in the populous eastern part of China, where most of the country's population resides. A new checkpoint on this motorway leading to Beijing caused these huge jams as the week-long holiday drew to a close. You've heard about the Great Wall of China. How about the Great Crawl of China? Incredible footage captured by a drone showed the sheer magnitude of the traffic chaos as several hundred million people began their journeys home. Aerial footage of the monster traffic jam that could be seen converging on toll booths on the 1,412-mile expressway was widely shared online. This looks like the worst end to a very memorable highway. The drone also doesn't capture all the road rage out there. Loneliest Tree A tree seemingly growing out of a pristine white salt island in the heart of the Dead Sea isn't something you'd expect to see when visiting the world's saltiest body of water, and yet that's exactly the site you're treated to near this beach. With a salt concentration over 10 times that of the ocean, the Dead Sea is incapable of sustaining any plant or animal life. So how come there's a tree growing there, on an island made of salt of all places? Within swimming distance of the beach of this Israeli resort near Arid lies the iconic Dead Sea Salt Island, a surreal natural formation made of dazzling white salt and surrounded by turquoise water. At its center is a pool of shallow, inviting water and a tree that has no place being there. And yet, there it is. The Tree of the Dead Sea is such an amazing sight that I'm surprised it hasn't received more attention on Instagram and other travel-oriented social networks. Seeing a living thing surviving, thriving even, in the middle of a body of water famous for its inability to sustain life is quite surreal. Even though a close inspection of the tree will reveal buds on the branches and roots stretching into the salty crust of the island, it doesn't mean that the tree sprouted and grew there. It was a local artist who brought and planted it on the salt island as an art installation. <laughs> Loch Ness Monster Rumors of a strange creature living in the waters of Loch Ness have abound over the decades, yet scant evidence has been found to back up these claims. But this drone footage from Great Glen River in Scotland claims to be the real deal. The Loch Ness Monster has been caught in a 4K video taken by a canoeist drone. Footage shows a mysterious black shape on the banks of the lake in Scotland. The drone video zooms in on the dark Nessie-shaped shadow which wriggles as the camera gets closer. There was no driftwood in the vicinity and the shadow had the same shape as previous sightings of Nessie. The drone owner did not notice the shadow lurking at the edge of the footage until viewers on his channel pointed it out in the comments. One of the first sightings, believed to have fueled modern Nessie fever, came in 1933. A local newspaper carried a story about a local couple who claimed to have seen an enormous animal rolling and plunging on the surface. It's not the first sighting of the Loch Ness Monster this year. At least five others have recorded officially seeing the legendary beast. <laughs> Human-shaped town Centuripe, a small town on the island of Sicily, was photographed from the air by a drone revealing its five-pointed shape. And don't you think its shape bears an uncanny resemblance to a person? The aerial pictures reveal four long stretches of buildings jetting off in different directions, like limbs, and a shorter fifth stretch that makes up the head. 
Technically, this kind of urban plan is called paleobate, which means that from the center of the town, various branches extend in several directions. Five in this case. Centuripe is a small Sicilian hamlet of 5,000 inhabitants in the province of Enna. Observing an image taken from above, it's impossible not to notice a similarity with the shape of a person lying on the back, arms and legs open. Today, not only the village, but the whole surrounding area is a tourist destination. Thanks to its long and troubled history, this village is a real archaeological gem. A local drone operator first discovered the human shape of the town when looking at the town on Google Earth. Seeing an opportunity, he flew his drone as high as he could above it and began taking pictures. The shape of the town has been likened to many things, including a person, a five-pointed star, a swallow with spread wings, and Leonardo da Vinci's Ventruvian Man. We won't drone on any more about these amazing machines. A drone with a camera attached to it is the stuff of greatness if these videos were any indicator. Make sure you like and subscribe if you agree. There's more where that came from.